Okay, this is how you turn on your PC from anywhere in the world using Alexa with a smart Wi-Fi relay. So, here we go. PC turns on beautifully. Now, second or two, you will want to turn off. Um, click on that off switch or else due to the nature of the relay, it will power down your device. So just make sure you do exactly that and you will have no issues. Now, you might want to pause the video and uh, kind of study this drawing a bit because it will be a bit hard to see me uh, put everything together because everything is a bit cluttered. And uh, the reasoning of turning on your PC from anywhere in the world is because if you uh, forward some ports, you can access your machine from anywhere using remote desktop. I do have a link in the description. Check that out for that. Um, but you can see right here, power on then power off a couple seconds later and turns off. I do prefer turning it off through Windows. It's safer to power down that way, but that is just another option. So now I will show you how to connect everything. Um, so first, here is the smart relay switch. It links up with EWILink. Um, check everything in the description, all links and everything in the description below. Any questions you may have, feel free to comment. But also check the description first because it's likely going to be answered there. Um, but the first thing you need is this Y splitter. Um, this splitter that is going to go into your F panel of your motherboard as per the drawing. You also need uh, these, these wires, as you can see right here. And again, everything is in description of what you need to get exactly. Um, so study this. It might, um, for those who understand all of this, uh, feel free to fast forward. But I'm going to leave it here for a bit, uh, just so you can take a look on how everything shall be done. And in the meantime, as we wait, everything is in the description. I know I mentioned this a bunch of times. Uh, but there is a way to forward some ports in your network so you can access your PC anywhere in the world. Uh, but this is how you turn it on. This is the first step. Um, so check the description, please. Okay, so now we got our relay and you just need a little flathead because right here we are going to unscrew these wires and we're pretty much going to start from scratch. I'm just taking everything apart. Now you want to get the Y splitter and I know it's going to be very tough to see. So you're actually not going to see me do it and the action will be pointless. You want to look at your motherboard instructions or wherever you have uh, your regular power switch installed um, because that's where you want to put the splitter. Hook the other end up to where your switch goes to from your PC case. And the other end is going to our relay. You can see our two wires here now that I am connecting them to the other, the two prongs. And you do want to be a little bit delicate because <laughs> I did uh, break one of the, the prongs. I did break one of the ends there. Um, I did just realize that. So now we have everything connected. The hardest part is done. Getting that Y splitter on there is the hardest thing. And these wires. So now everything is set up for success almost. Uh, it doesn't matter which wire goes which on the smart relay here, uh, but we do have two uh, connections, uh, normally open, NO, and common for COM. Uh, that's very important for smart relays and switches. Um, it serves more of a neutral um, aspect of how we're, we have our circuit. So anyway, um, we'll want the wires to be within those two um, connectors there. Doesn't matter which one goes which. We want to get our little flat head screwdriver. And we want to tighten them up there. Not too tight, but just tight enough to where it isn't going anywhere. And 
the other one here, tighten it up. And there we go. So now we are ready to connect our USB-C to micro USB or micro USB to uh, USB-C. Actually, I'm sorry, this is a micro USB to USB-A. So I apologize for the confusion. So right here we have the micro USB end. And there you can see there, I mean, it even says it on there, micro USB uh, on the back of the PCB board. Um, you can connect uh, power like a battery or anything right here where I'm pointing to. Um, but for this, we don't want anything to die or any batteries to explode in the PC case. Uh, so we are going to connect the wall charger. Uh, so our micro USB end, plug it in right there. And on the other side, I just kind of snaked it from behind. There's like an opening uh, in my PC case. So I just snaked the USB-A side up on the top. So you can see how everything is set up here. And you can see how I have the USB-A on the port of my PC case. So everything is powered on and it goes right back to the power supply. So now we are ready to pair the device. Uh, so I want you to pause this video in the description. I have a link to my other video on how to connect the device uh, to Ewe Link and to Alexa. You'll need to follow that video's instructions to pair the device. So please take a moment to pause the video and come back to this video after when you pair the device because pairing the device is the last step. So please go ahead and do that. Um, again, and here is the, uh, the little drawing that I made to help you out to compare. And now you can see after when you pair the device, you should be able to, uh, use RDP. Now this is the iOS app of RDP. Um, I recommend going into maybe your laptop if you have a laptop or a, or a Windows uh, tablet or laptop because the Windows version of RDP works a lot better. Uh, but for the sake of this video, I'm just showing you that it works on my LTE network, as you can see. So, we'll need to turn on the PC. A second or two later, turn it off uh, per the button, power button. So now we can try to sign in now. I'm just blocking my, uh, my IP, as you can see there. And it might fail. We might need to give it... Uh, some time to boot up. Uh, so it might take a minute or two, depending on how long it takes for your system to load. Uh, you can see there wasn't a success. So let's wait a few seconds. Let's try it again. And now you get a prompt that says sign in. Uh, you'll want to sign in with your Microsoft account email and password. Uh, so you definitely want to uh, make sure that you're using a Microsoft account and you're signed in to the Windows profile with a Microsoft account. I have more information on that and another link um, to port forward uh, some things in your network so you can access your machine anywhere in the world. So check that example video as well on what I'm going off of. Very important. But anyway, you can see I signed in everything is perfect um everything is running great now depending on your home network uh things might be slow but if you have a uh, good connection uh nothing wrong with your internet provider uh, you're going to experience just as good as results as if you weren't remoting into your machine so everything is going great for me uh as of gaming of course there are better options to remote game uh, but if you're just going to edit video and just do other tasks, uh, render video or anything like that, performance is great. I do it all the time. Uh, render 4K video all the time. So Vegas Pro runs like a charm. But anyway, this is what you do. Thanks everybody for watching. Please check all the videos in my description on what I used for this. Also share the good news by sharing this video. 
and comment if you need any further assistance and I will do my best to help.